Do you want a free serum pack? I know you do. So listen very carefully. All you have to do is click the link at the top of the description down below. It's a Facebook post. All you have to do is tag three friends and we'll send you the pack for free. That's all you have to do is tag three friends in a freaking Facebook post. Anyways, today we're gonna be recreating the main stab sound that Skrillex most beautifully made in his remix of Sicko Mode and this is what it sounds like. Hey, what's going on guys? Shane here from Rocket Powered Sound. Welcome to the best channel on YouTube for serum tutorials. Without further ado, let's just jump straight into today's tutorial. So, first things first, let's start off by initializing the patch so we have a fresh, clean start. No BS in the tutorial. By the way, we're just getting straight down to the nitty gritty details that you can implement directly into your own music, okay? So this is gonna be very cool. We have some really, really cool techniques that you've never seen, I guarantee that. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started. First things first, we want to make sure our oscillator A is going to be this default waveform, and then we're gonna turn on oscillator B as well, and that's gonna be the default as well, and then we're actually gonna turn on the sub oscillator as well, okay? Now, you're probably wondering, why are we turning on all three? We're gonna be running double frequency modulation. I know, it's getting freaky in this tutorial. So first things first, guys, um, we're gonna be running it all towards like this direction. So we're gonna start off with FM from B. So all the sounds gonna be outputted through this oscillator. We can go ahead and drop down the level on both uh, the sub and oscillator A because it's gonna all be outputted through B. And now we're gonna turn on FM from the sub. So now there's gonna be sound from the sub, which is the signal for the FM in oscillator A, which is then the signal for that uh, frequency modulation in oscillator B. So pretty cool stuff here, but it's really gonna start getting pretty gnarly once we turn up the octave. Um, let me see here. All right, I lied a little bit. It's not gonna get too crazy just yet because we haven't turned on any of the FM. So we gotta turn up our frequency modulation from oscillator A. We're gonna put that around 64. Woo! Okay, now you see what I'm talking about but we have to make it even cooler. Go into our sub and we're gonna select our square waveform. And here we're just gonna boost the octave all the way up four. And now when we turn up the FM from the sub, we start to get some really cool results. So, so here it's all about messing with the different FM settings so we can find out what the perfect combination between uh, you know, the percentage for the FM from the sub and the one from oscillator a as well so anyways guys pretty cool stuff here that's uh, where we're going to be starting from we're going to go directly into our filtering now which is going to make uh not that big of a difference but it's going to add in a little bit more odd tones so first things first we're going to put on our keyboard tracking so this is just to add in a little bit more resonance into the sound this filter so we want to turn on keyboard tracking that way, whatever note that we press on the keyboard, the cutoff is going to move with that note, okay? So, let's turn up the resonance. And I actually forgot we're outputting the sound through oscillator B, so we're gonna go ahead and turn on oscillator B. Turn up the master a little bit, and now we're gonna go ahead and turn on our LFO number one. Now, LFO number one is just gonna be controlling the main amp, and it's super simple what we're doing here. We just create a nice, easy um, shape, just like that. Put it on envelope and put it on 1 8. Okay, so that's gonna be the shape for our sound. Let's go into our effect section now, because now we can actually start building the tonal structure of where everything's gonna be coming from. Go ahead and turn on our tube distortion. Turn up the drive 100%. Doesn't sound too crazy, but we are moving in the right direction, which brings us to our next one. It's gonna be a filter. Let's go ahead and drag that to the top. And we're gonna take our now LFO2, and we're simply going to create a new shape here because we're going to be modulating the filter, which is a low pass. We need to add in some more movement just like Skrillex did in the original track. So go ahead and put this on envelope. It's going to follow this envelope as it moves through the OG uh, LFO that we put on here. So go ahead and put the cutoff to around 106 hertz. And now we're just going to modulate this down. 
you can start to hear how we're creating this cool little shape that just kind of adds in the same amount of movement. Uh, it's very similar, very similar modulations to the original track, which is what we're going for, right? Now, we're gonna turn on our reverb. Okie dokie. Reverb is actually very simple. The only thing that we're changing here is we're turning up the high cut 100% and we're turning up the mix. It doesn't sound too crazy right now, but once we go ahead and turn on our compressor and put on multiband, it's going to try and compensate for that low volume reverb. And as you can hear, the reverb really starts to come out once we turn on our multiband compressor, which is what Skrillex does in the OG track. So that's gonna take us now to our last two effects on our list, which is just some simple EQing. We're gonna go ahead and select our low cut, okay? So we're gonna be cutting out the low end here. And uh, yeah, so, <laughs> Basically what we're doing here guys is we're just sticking on our LFO number two to add in a little bit more um, movement. That sounds, that sounds pretty good. And now actually we're gonna be doing a very similar thing, except we're gonna be dropping the gain here to create like a notch effect. So when we, we get that you can really start to hear how the sounds coming together now finally into the matrix this is when we go ahead and take our LFO number one because as you can hear this even though we are controlling the the volume of the output os oscillator with this LFO it's not quite coming out right so we're gonna go ahead and go global master amp and we're just going to stick this on here so this is a master volume and now we're left with this I mean, if we turn on the filter, it starts to sound a little bit weirder. So it de completely depends on what sound you're going for, but this is how the sound is made. And I hope that you guys found this tutorial helpful. If you did, make sure you click that subscribe button because we put out these tutorials every single week. And on top of that, you should also click that like button just to show some support. If you don't like the video, click that dislike button, whatever, we just wanna see you. Okay, I just wanna see you. <laughs> but anyways, guys, without further ado, my name is Shane from Rocket Powered Sound, and make sure you grab your free serum pack, link in the description down below, and I'll catch you in the next serum tutorial.